we're going to get to the ad group section. Now, an ad group is a collection of keywords, um, associated keywords. So let's say that you are selling, um, you know, let's grab a product here. Okay, let's say we're selling, you know, this um, security camera. So we can, we can put in, you know, ad groups for security camera, home security camera, you know, everything that says home, um, all our keywords that say Wi-Fi, all our keywords that say, um, you know, we can, so break, break them down into different categories. So all the keywords that say Wi-Fi, and then a different ad group for all the keywords that say wireless, and then, you know, a, a different uh, ad group for all the keywords that say home, a different ad group, you know, for, for, for these different categories. So you want to make uh, one ad group for one category of keywords, and then you're going to write ads specifically for that group. So for this, let's say we're going to do Wi-Fi security camera. Um, wireless Wi-Fi camera Wi-Fi camera with Bluetooth you know and for you know for doing some keyword research look at your Amazon PPC terms to see what are you know what you're converting for profitably and then you can do something like this so Wi-Fi home security Wi-Fi camera outdoor we can do that and of course you know there's there's free tools for doing keyword research um, you know the Google Keyword Planner there is um, uber suggest a bunch of free tools to do some keyword research and with Google Ads it's super important that you only use your most relevant keywords okay because you're spending money every time someone clicks so you don't want to spend money on a term that is just a little relevant to you um, you want to get people to click only if they're searching for terms that are hyper relevant for your product and suggest that they're ready to buy okay so you know terms that are terms that are more like how to do this how to do that you don't want to do that for these purposes because they're still in the research phase they're not in the buying phase and you know it's recommended to make a couple ad groups for each um, product you have um, but you know if you want to start out just putting them in all on one ad group it's fine but over over a while you want to break it down um, because you want to write the ads for those particular um, ad groups alright so for the final URL we're going to use our landing page which it takes you know a couple minutes to build landing cube you upload your promo codes from seller central um, it's you know they're single-use promo codes so if someone gets a hold of this promo code you know a competitor isn't gonna buy all your products and then sell them at a discount um, they're unique codes and you can do a lot to, to make the landing page look great and you put the analytics uh, cookie here to enable retargeting and you can collect emails it's it's a really powerful thing for Amazon sellers so in the headline, we want to focus our headline on the big benefits, you know, and we want to use the the keywords that people are putting in there in in this search in our headline. So Wi-Fi security camera thirty percent off. Okay, very straight to the point. You know, home security camera with Wi-Fi. So we're, again, we're focusing our headlines on the main benefits um, and putting in the putting in the keywords that people are using in there. Okay, so for the description, you know, let's say so I'm just gonna grab this here and then and then edit it. All right, so these these are all features, really. So we want to focus on the benefits. So we're going to say secure 
your home inside and out get your 15% discount code and let's see if we can work in some more um, more benefits here so home security inside and out weatherproof Wi-Fi camera get your 15% off discount code okay so you know we're we're really focusing on the on the, the benefits and you can write a different description that focuses you know we can talk about um, these things and really wireless rechargeable battery so we want to we want to turn these features into the benefits okay so people don't really care that much about you know all the um, the bells and whistles they care about what the bells and whistles do for them so if you write your description in a way that um, makes that very clear so we want to focus on the benefits rather than the features and spin the features in a way that focuses on the benefits and write a few different ads that you know speak to different main benefits and you want to do some split testing right so two different ads for each ad group and then collect some data to find out um, which ones perform the best so you know that's that it's it's pretty simple once you get some some data in you'll be able to tell which ads are performing best for that for each ad group and then within each ad group you'll be able to see which keywords are performing best and let's say you're doing a broad uh, phrase keyword or a broad match keyword if you're doing a broad match keyword which you know a broad match keyword versus a phrase match and exact match exact match would be if someone searches Wi-Fi security camera right so if that will show up for exact match if someone searches for security camera with Wi-Fi it won't show up for um, exact match for the term Wi-Fi security camera but if you have the phrase match um, security camera then it'll show up for both of those and if you do Wi-Fi security camera broad then um, it'll show up for a range of terms that are related to it so it goes from broad match to phrase match to exact match so it gets more exclusive as as you go from broad which is the least exclusive to phrase and then to exact so if you're starting off with broad match keywords look at your search terms report uh, once you get some data to find out which terms re resulted in the best results and which terms did worse you can sh turn off the the terms that didn't result in good results you can add them as negative keywords and for the ones that did perform well you can break those down into more granular ad groups and show ads for those specifically so that is the optimization process and if again if you do Google Ads right it can bring in um, a lot of traffic and sales and boost up your rankings on Amazon and um, you know one thing you will want to do is think about what URL you're sending people to so for instance if I go over here into this landing cube um, account or page that we're building if you want to rank for a specific keyword you can put in a special URL that has that keyword in it so that when people go to Amazon um, it's gonna st simulate a search for that keyword in Amazon so you can build this within landing cube to get um, better results for the keywords that you're trying to search that you're trying to rank for using Google Ads by sending traffic through this keyword. For your keywords, make sure you're only going after the most hyper relevant keywords and make sure that your ads focus on feet on benefits rather than features. Get to know who your target customer is and understand what makes them tick and write that in your ads. And then you want to do split tests and collect data to find out um, what's working and then keep optimizing as you're going forward. So if you do those things, Google Ads have a great potential to boost your rankings on Amazon and get you more sales and build up a list with emails.